Hello my fellow car modelers, how you doing today? We have got a neat little how-to episode for you. And uh, it was something that was talked about on the groups, of course. You know, I think I have something that can help you out with what you want to do when you're wanting to do custom gold leaf lettering on your models. So, why don't we just dive into this one. Got some cool stuff to show you. So here is a little Willie's. I've showed this before. You guys have seen this. I made this uh, a lot of years ago. I think in the late 90s when this kit came out. This was the Big John Masmanium 41 Willie's gasser that came out from Ravel. I think I'll do a, a Lucas builds on one of the on this kit, kit one of these days. But uh, what I want to show you today is this custom lettering I did. All these decals that I made that um, look like gold leafing. And this was all done kind of by hand and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it it really is easy and it gives you a really good effective look so yeah let's just give you a nice look at that you can see um, it was very simple to do and uh, you know there's there's a lot of different types of gold leafing the type that I'm replicating is kind of a random design you have some gold leafing that looks more like it's machine you know they use it with a brush they put the gold leaf down that's not the look we're going for lots of times in some of these slick decals like you see in this grumpy's toy they do a really good job of catching that effect and uh, if you can see on these grumpy's toys and uh, slicks has always done really good with their gold leafing effect I, hopefully you can see pretty good i never can tell when i'm videotaping until i see it in post but uh yeah, they did a really good job. But this kind of replicated in the decals. What they can do is something that's more like that machined look with the with the the brush on a drill and the, the artist puts it down and then just kind of goes over. This is more kind of the random different little wrinkles and stuff that gives really, really cool lighting effects and, and, and shading effects and stuff like that. And that is what I tried to replicate in what I was doing here, which is kind of an old school hand lettering look. And let's go ahead and show you how it's done. And it's really simple. What I did is I first, on an inkjet printer, I did my lettering. I designed it on my program. I'm not going to get too much into that part of it. But those of you guys who do your own custom decals with inkjetting, you, you can inkjet printers you can you can do this you've done this before you guys who don't do that it's really simple if you have a good program a good printer there's decal paper available that's specific for making your own decals you, many outlets online you can get it from and you go into your print shop program do your lettering so, and all you need is a black outline because that's all these were i just did black outlines of you know all the lettering that i made up you know the name of the car all that stuff this is all done the sponsor on the back that was all done on my inkjet printer and blast it out in just a black outline because you just need something to follow and of course you can see there's a black outline around you can do it in red too but it doesn't show up so much in depending on the car you put it on uh, black was just easier it's just a, a better it, it just it, it there's a lot of bleed through on doing inkjet printing decals but i'm not going to go into that part of it the part that i want to show you is how to get that effect with just painting with some simple tamiya paint so what i used is let's see you got your your car there um i just used your typical tamiya jarred paints a lot of the clears and the silver there's the, the four right there and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. For the sake of just showing you how I do this, I've got some old Fred Cady decals because Fred Cady would always separate everything. So we've got some black outline. I would do it on this, this Dylan thing right here. I don't have any decals that I've made that, that are available right now. I haven't, haven't done that in a while. I actually have to get a new print shop program to do that. You definitely want to get a good print shop program and you want to get the proper paper and a good printer and you can make all kinds of decals for yourself i love doing that but uh i don't have any right now that i've made so these will do fine but again fred if any of you are familiar with the old fred katie all the colors would be all separate 
and you would have to lay them down on the car like you'd first lay that white down and then the Dillon after that it's just how they were so it works out good for our demonstration so I'm just going to do these D's right here it's so simple to do I'm going to use my AK silicone brush I haven't done it with the silicone brush yet because I haven't done it in years I used a conventional bristle brush but I've got the silicone tipped brush the only solid color that you're going to use I'm going to use this chrome silver X11 and then the other ones are their clears they're pig you know clear orange you want clear yellow and clear red now isn't this interesting though just to lay this out <laughs> um we i'm gonna put these over on the side here um to do this gold leafing not once do i use any gold paint and you will see why you don't need gold paint you create that with colors we're going to start with the x11 chrome silver shake that stuff up get it going good shift this over the side and you got to have a steady hand for this most of you guys do you just practice get yourself some old decals you can even even if it you get a decal that has already the colors in there you can paint over it so what we're going to do is we are going to let me move in here just get in stay in the line there and just get the silver down the silver base is super important this is what's going to give you that metallic look try not to hit the black you want the black to still stay so you gotta stay on the in color in the lines remember we learned that in kindergarten and i'm not doing a good job so we're getting it there just get that silver all down in the lines the best you can so there we go so you see we've got all the silver there I did a little sloppy right here I tried to clean it up a little bit but you get the gist of it we're gonna let that dry a little bit you want to make sure that your base coat is thoroughly dried set up however it goes next color we're gonna go with x24 clear yellow Okay, so I gave it a little time for that silver to dry, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do clear yellow, X24, and it looks pretty decent. Alrighty, now the yellow, you got to put it onto the silver first. This is your main color, and watch this. This is where I say you don't really use gold. You just get it on there. See that? It's just it gives a gold appearance when you put the yellow over the silver. The thing about these clears is like the more you put down, the darker it gets. So you can kind of like put a light coat on there and then go over it again. The thing about the clears is if, if you kind of slightly go over the black, it's not going to really affect it. And because of the effect we're going for if you get some areas a little thicker than other and changes the color that's okay don't even worry about that because it, it helps with the effect see that right there if you even left that that gives you a pretty good look and we'll let that dry and then the real magical part happens now here's the fine detail parts this is where you get that squigglies effect is with your orange and your red these aren't going to be fully covering. This is just doing the detail. It's where you want a really fine tip brush because you're going to get real fancy here. And what you do is you just randomly just touch areas. Just get little squiggles on there. Just randomly around there. And you just want just little dabs. Kind of do a little squiggling. See, just no no special spot just do little dabs and squiggles this right now we're doing the orange it doesn't matter if you do the red first or the orange first it's just basically what it does is it just gives it those the different contrasts if you go a little bit too far I had a big blob there clean off the brush and I can take some of that off it doesn't matter there can always be that little spot right there 
So there's the orange X26 clear orange. Now we're going to go with the X27 clear red. And so the reds and the oranges just give it that like refracting light in different directions. And you, you get a little down there and you do a, a little squiggle there. That's pretty much all I'm going to do. And there you go. And that gives it, that's it, that's it. That's really it right there. That's all we're going to do. You take your time. This is a little sloppy, <laughs> I'll tell you that. But you take your time with it. You can do a really, really nice job. The different reds and the oranges on top of that yellow, it creates that gold squiggled you know, prism effect that happens on that type of, of gold leafing. And it's really easy. And like I said, if you don't print out your own decals, you can take almost any decal lettering and just go ahead and paint over what's there. Just with a nice steady head, just make sure the outline stays stays there. You know, you just color like in between the lines like you did in the coloring books when you were a little kid or if you still do that, eh, you know, for some people maybe. But there you go. You know, all the different angles and you got yourself gold leafing. Now something you can do is you know, sometimes I'll shoot, like I did in, in another video, shoot uh, um, a clear coat over your decals. Lots of times I like to clear coat decals every time. That's something else that I didn't really get into when you print your own decals. After you do a, a print, you have to clear coat to seal in the black outline first. I got to state that if you do do your own printing. There's a part of that process when you print your decals with inkjet printer. Once anything touches that inkjet, because it really just stays on top of the decal film. It doesn't inject into the paper like on regular paper. So you have to shoot clear coat over that to seal it in. And then you do your, your colors. So um, that is a step you have to do. But I just like looking at it. I'll get the light to hit it in different ways. And there you go. There's your... Uh, there's your thing. You can kind of, I don't know, if you see, even as it's kind of drying, you can even get in there. Like I have a really big blob of orange right here. If I wanted to get in there and mess around with it and pick some of out to get some of the yellow to show through, it's really forgiving. You could even go over that with the yellow again and kind of tone down some things if things look a little too, too much. But just play with it. Practice. I haven't done it in years, so this isn't really some of my best work I showed you on that Willys. It was one that uh, really turned out nice. I've done it on a few other models, and it's just, it's, it's just a really great effect. There you go. I hope there's a new cool trick for you all to play around with and enjoy. And just to go over the paints again, we've got Chrome Silver X11, Clear Yellow X24, Clear Orange X26 and Clear Red X27. Love them. That's how you do it. And boy, you can see how old it is because I don't know, what do these go for now? And I don't go to that, that place right there since Andy's open. I've been going to Andy's for 18 years, so I think I bought these probably 20 years ago. That's how long they last. You just got to liven them up. And just so you know, I had to thin them out a little bit and I just went and got X20A thinner and it, it brings these paints back to life. Simple as that. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm glad to offer something like this to you. And uh, you know, we got a lot more cool tip videos I'm working on right now coming up. Uh, been just getting some great ideas because a lot, a lot of times this is stuff for me looking at what you guys are doing on that uh, Lucas C Model Car Hobby Headquarters Facebook group and other Facebook groups. And people are asking, hey, how, do, how, how can you get this effect? That's where this came about. Someone was wondering about how could I make gold leafing or get that gold leafing look. So I go, hey, I've done that before. So there you go. Thanks for, uh, it's, I can't remember who it was, so I can't give credit who reminded me about this, who asked about it. So if you're out there and watch this, Put a comment below letting me know you were the guy who asked. I said something to you. And uh, thank you very much for that. I want to thank everyone who keeps on supporting. Click and like this video, please. 
If you haven't subbed, subbed. We're growing in subs, and that just helps the channel out even more. It really, really does. Thank you very much. I want you all to have a wonderful day. And you know what I say here. Go build model cars. Why? Well, because they're fun. And I'll, I'll save the other thing for some other time. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Which will be coming up here real quick. I got another great tip for you.